Comparing the value of decimals. Now, a lot of students get they get scared by decimals because they think they're radically different from whole numbers. But the very nice thing about comparing the value of decimals is you do it the same way if you're comparing the value of whole numbers. It's exactly the same process. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say here we have, okay, so here we have, we have uh, 3,987 and we're comparing it to the value of 3,991. Now most of you can do this, right? But let's pretend that we don't know how to compare these. The process would be you'd, you'd look at, you'd first look at the greatest place value, which in this case is the thousands column right here in this number and right here in this number, and we'd compare them. This number here has three in the thousands column, so it's 3,000. This number has three in the, three, in the thousands column, so it's 3,000. They're equal so far. A after comparing the thousands column, we'd move to the hundreds. And this one has nine in the hundreds column, which is 900. This one has nine in the hundreds column, which is 900. So, so far, they are equal. After comparing those two place values, we then move to the tens. Now, this has eight in the tens column, which is 80. And this has 9 in the tens column, which is 90. Now, 90 is more than 80. And so what we would say is 3,987 is less than 3,991 because this number right here, 3,991, has more tens in it than this number. And, and really, that's how we compare numbers. The nice thing about decimals is we're going to use the exact same method in order to do it. Let me show you what I mean. So here's two decimals. Here we have three tenths and we have nineteen hundredths. Those are the two decimals that we're going to compare. Now the first thing you gotta realize about decimal numbers is they usually represent numbers that are less than one whole. And in this case you'll notice that in the ones column here there's nothing going on. And in the ones column here, there's nothing going on. So there, these numbers are both less than one whole, but not quite zero. So we're trying to figure out which is greater. Three, is three tenths greater than 19 hundredths? Or is 19 hundredths greater than three tenths? How the heck are we gonna find out? Well, we're gonna do it the same way we did it as with the whole numbers. And we need to, we need to understand that Tenths, this is not tens, this is THS. This is a really important THS, okay? This number right here, right here, is tenths, less than one. And we, we're also dealing with, um, we're also dealing with hundredths. And this number right here, 19 hundredths, this column represents the hundredths column. So we're not dealing with hundreds, that's something different, that's over here hundredths is less than one. So let's just try to remember our place value of decimals while we're doing this. This is really the only, this is the thing that confuses kids the most, I think, when they're comparing. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Now we said we're going to use the exact same method. So let's start on the left-hand side of the number where the greatest place value is and take a look. In the ones column in this number is a zero. This has zero holes, zero whole numbers in it. How about over here in 19 hundredths? Yeah, that has zero whole numbers. So, so far, they're identical. After we look at the whole numbers, we move to the right, just as we did up here. We keep moving to the right. This has three tenths in it, while this number over here has one tenth in it. Three is greater than one, and so this whole number over here, this, this decimal number, three tenths, is greater than 19 hundredths because it has more tenths the 19 hundredths does. Now I think a lot of kids will, will look at that number and they'll say, but wait a second, 19 is more than three. This has two digits, this has one digit, this has to be greater. Let me show you why that's not the case. Okay, so here is, um, here's a model of tenths, right? This is a, this is a, you've seen these before. This is a, a square that's cut into 10 parts. And, you know, I, I could color those in for you. We, we could say, okay, if we were going to do three tenths, we'd color these in. We'd say one tenth and two tenths and three tenths, right? And there it is, right? That's what three tenths actually looks like. It's three out of ten strips, right? We've done this before. You, that, that's pretty familiar. Uh, to, you know this stuff. All right. What would, what would 
1900s look like? Well, in this particular case, what we would have to do is we can't just fill in strips. This is broken into a hundred parts. And so let's fill in 19 of them, right? So it would be one, and well, let me get the, let me get a little bigger ball here. We'd say there's one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, and fourteen, and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Wasn't that exciting? Okay, that's nineteen hundredths. You might say in Let's go back and see what 3 tenths looks like again. Well, it's pretty obvious, right? This fills in three whole strips. This doesn't even fill in two whole strips, right? If I was actually going to color in these strips, I'd get one and most of the other, but I wouldn't get three for sure. And this shows us that 3 tenths is greater than 1900s. That's the confusing part, though. It doesn't matter if there were nines coming all the way down. I could put nines till the cows come home. Here they come, right? Well, nine, 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 nine. These aren't very good nines, forgive me. Um, but I could put a bunch of nines here. It's still not going to be greater than, than this number here because of that pesky three in the tenths place. Three is greater than one, and so this number is greater than that number. Guys, that's all there is to it, to comparing the value of decimals. Use the same methodology. Start on the left-hand side with the greatest place value and compare them. Um, tenths, and then hundredths, and then thousandths, or ten thousandths, or whatever you have. And it, it, you won't get confused if you just follow that methodology. All right? Any of this confused you, just rewind it, look at it again, and uh, come with your questions tomorrow, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.